every day I feel inspired. And the feedback I have whenever I share biomimicry with the world is how inspiring. There's four billion years of experience in the natural world. It's like the wise elders of, of our place. Nature's figured out how to do it in ways that are continue creating conditions conducive to life, being regenerative and being resilient. There's the potential to shift and transform our systems for the better in every possible way. And what I love about biomimicry is there's this adjacent possible, like right outside, the possibilities for us to design a world that really works are evident everywhere. How can we make everything in a way that actually supports life? Just by asking that question, it shifts the worldview of, of individuals. And once your worldview is shifted, you shift your goals, you shift your design agenda, and you have a new intention for what you want to create in the world. Let's, uh, let's kick it off. Are you clapping? I'm clapping. You clap. Nice light now. I did that one again. I drifted a few times. No, we must have got a bloody helicopter. This is standard procedure. That's the helicopter I asked for. I was talking quickly because it's hot, diggity dark. Imagine a world where the drones were silent. Planes were silent. There, we're done. We're done. Are we finished? Are we completed? I'm going to film everything you do. Let's walk. It's like, wow. Um, and the wow inspiration comes both from what I find in the natural world is so genius and wise, but from the potential for us to be just as genius and as wise. At the most profoundly poetic level, the very space that we're trying to save on this planet, which is nature itself or biodiversity, has the answers for how we can and the more we practice biomimicry, the more we learn how we can make a world, a built world, designed world by humans that is beneficial to these systems because we emulate and copy their shapes, their recipes and their systems. That on its own is worth the adventure of learning biomimicry. <laughs>